Hey everybody, Pete Hendricks, Hendricks Classics here. Today I'm going to do a review of the uh, Rocknell SC50. And interestingly, it's not going to be a super positive review, and I'll tell you, I will buy it again, knowing everything. Now, one thing, and I hopefully will figure out how to insert a photo right where my finger is, uh, you know, of course, this is supposed to be 316 uh, marine grade steel, which is really good, and I would not ever expect it to rust. But right where my finger is, there was a brown spot, and when I was off, but there's still a mark there that wasn't there when I bought it. So I assume that's where it's beginning to pit. I'm assuming the brown was rust and that that's the start of pitting. Um, there was also some brown um, here. The smart money would have been to take a picture of it so you could see. Um, but, you know, I've cleaned it up. So um, I was pondering whether it was smart to to, um, you know, clean up and then put uh, Renaissance wax on, a re on steel razors? Well, in this case, I would say definitely. And so I've put Ren wax on here, and I doubt there will be any more trouble uh, with, with rust, if that's what it was, uh, as long as I keep that on there. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is how to put it together and how to put a blade in it. And <laughs> it's something else. Okay, so you have this screw, which is free-floating, meaning if it goes down the sink, you're, you are screwed, no pun intended. Now, you can order more of these. Um, it's a standard size. So I put the screw in until it's almost level up here. And then... Take the blade, put it in, sorry about that, someone forgot to palm strop after the last use on this blade. Okay, so you take it. And of course, this razor uses the, far, the Feather Artist Club blades, of which my favorite are the Schick P30s. Now, you have to freaking mess with it. And you have to get your thumb right there to hold down the edge. Come on, bro. Ah, crap. So, about now you're probably saying, man, I'd never buy this. And for most people, I would say probably not. There. However, this is a smooth... Why is that not going on? Razor blade is in the right place. There we go. Okay, the camera battery went dead, though. I, I think you saw most of the struggle of getting it on. Now, you have to tighten this with more than just your hand. I've ordered some that are screws right there that have a hex finish on one side. Um, put the plastic spacer on. And she's ready to shave. So, here, I told you that I would buy the razor again knowing everything I do. And here's why. It is so, so smooth. And for me, 
Um, I'm part of a relatively small group of enthusiasts that has a hard time really getting a, a close, comfortable shave. And so I need um, very little blade feel and high aggressiveness, or at least, you know, more aggressive than not aggressive. This, I, I can get shaves with this razor that are, are just awesome. And so for me, I definitely uh, would do it. Is that autofocus working? I sure hope so. You know, for me, I would buy the razor again, though for other folks, um, you know, I'm not so sure that I would. Um, usually with the the feather art, the razors using the feather, feather artist blade, they usually are not super smooth. You know, there's definitely some blade feel to them, and that's where this razor really shines. But when you look at it and when you look at how hard it is to put together, and I'll probably take some mild um, sandpaper and sand it down. But you know, this is a th this is almost three hundred dollar razor, and I shouldn't have to do that. And there's always a risk of messing up the geometry when you start doing that. And then plus, I'm pretty sure that there's been some rusting with this and that's just not okay on a razor that costs that much money um so uh what's the verdict um if you're getting good close comfortable shaves with the, with other razors then i probably wouldn't get this one um However, if you want a, a smooth shave with a Feather Artist Club blade like you'll never get in, a, in another razor, this would be the one. And that's why I would uh, go ahead and purchase again. Okay, thanks.